Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at the Zumal Z100 a Newtonian reflector. This is probably the lowest priced recommended beginner telescope, anything I would recommend at least, uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's got enough aperture, four inches of aperture, that's a four inch opening here in the front. Four inch mirror is a big enough mirror that you can begin to see things pretty well with this telescope. And even though it's kind of small, it still can deliver a pretty good image. I've compared this with larger scopes and it's uh, quite good for the price. This is a low cost telescope. It only runs around $130, $150 or so. I'm going to compare it with some lower cost soaps just to show you what the differences are. I'll also show you the difference be between this and a bigger scope, a more substantial, more sophisticated telescopes. This little telescope comes with a couple of reasonably good eyepieces. These aren't real high quality, super high quality, but they're good enough. That's the main thing. Uh, it also comes with a red dot finder, which is again, quite suitable, an ideal solution for a small telescope like this, inexpensive. There's a comparable scope made by Orion. It's called the Sky Scanner. Uh, it's in a red paint job, but other than that, it's almost identical. It does have slightly different eyepieces, but those are also both pretty good eyepieces. So if you can get that one for a lower cost, buy that one. You'll be getting essentially the same telescope. One of the downsides to this telescope is that it doesn't have a way to adjust the collimation. On a good Newtonian telescope, there are going to be three sets uh, of screws, a total of six screws back here, bolts, whatever, to adjust the primary mirror and make sure that it's collimated. Uh, this doesn't have those. It's less expensive, and that's why. It's a cost-saving measure by the manufacturer to remove those. This one, I bought this brand new, and when I bought it, I took it out of the box, and it was pretty close to perfect, close enough to work just fine. So it didn't need to have any adjustment. Uh, the typical Newtonian will need to be adjusted, but this one at least was put together properly. I understand that uh, of, of all of these that have been used and reviewed by others, most of them have been just fine right out of the box. So you don't need to adjust them. There are some adjustment screws up here on the front and uh, they will talk about, well, you can adjust that. You don't want a beginner <laughs> adjusting those things. Adjusting the secondary, first of all, it probably won't get you where you want to be. You really need to be able to adjust the primary back here. So adjusting the, prime, the, the secondary mirror there is probably not a good idea for a beginner anyway. You look down inside the Z100, there's the mirror back there. And these are the supports, the secondary supports. And you can see that there are no mirror clips. There's also no central dot on that mirror. This is not intended to be collimated. That's not terribly surprising. Let's take a look in the focuser now. Uh, that diamond shape there is supposed to be, that represents your eye. And what you see down there is, actually, it looks to be, and I know for a fact it is, pretty well collimated. If it looks like that, or close to that, you've got a good scope. Call it a day. Go out and enjoy it and have a good time. You don't even have to think about collimation. Now let's compare this scope with... Uh... A slightly smaller scope. This is a 76 millimeter, and this is a um, made by Celestron, but there are a lot of them out there with a very similar telescope. 76 millimeter short little Newtonian reflector. Actually, not too bad for the price. They're, they run about oh, $75 or so. You might be able to get these on Goodwill.com for like a lot less. You could probably buy one of these used uh, um, in questionable condition, but used probably for $40 with shipping and everything. So um, these are pretty cheap and there's a reason they're cheap. They have a spherical mirror. Uh, this one has a parabolic mirror. The spherical mirror means that this thing doesn't perform very well. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just not really, really good. 
So that's why I don't highly recommend one of these. Uh, even for a kid, if you can afford to go the extra money to get one of these, this is going to be a better telescope for your kid. And certainly for any serious beginner that wants to start looking around, this is uh, probably the lowest cost, entry level kind of scope that I would recommend. This has a parabolic mirror, uh, unlike this one which has a spherical mirror. Watch out for almost identical scopes. There's even some sold by Orion uh, that are a little bit less money and they look just like this, watch out. If it doesn't say parabolic mirror, you don't want it. Don't touch it. Um, you want one with a parabolic mirror if you're going to spend this kind of money or anything even close to this kind of mirror money. If you're going to get a, a, a spherical mirror, a cheap telescope, this one is fine. Actually, your best buy is a pair of binoculars. I've got a whole video about selecting uh, beginner telescopes, so check that out. Let's compare that to this telescope. This telescope actually costs about the same. I mean, it's just roughly the same price, uh, maybe even a little bit more. This is a star balloon. Now, this is a, a Maksutov telescope, which is a different design. Um, it, that really makes not too much difference to you, except that they've got a lot of focal length packed into a short package. Some people will tell you that that makes it a miracle scope. It's not a miracle, it's just a Maksutov. Uh, it's a, it, a good design. The optics in this telescope are very good, but it has less aperture. So the front opening here is a 60 millimeters. It's uh, about half what this is. So the performance on this scope, it will not give you the sharpness and resolution, at least of a perfect version of this scope. So it's not quite as good. Um, this actually is an excellent telescope, but it's got so many downsides to it. The finder is terrible, it's horrible. Um, the mount is okay. This mount is just is just fine, uh, barely fine, because this thing has so much power. It's too much power. It's overpowered. So um, this is not a, a good buy for you. Don't buy this one. Buy that one. This is a better buy for you. It's on my recommended list. This scope is on my list of recommended telescopes as well. As you can see, it's a considerably bigger telescope. It's about a five inch aperture, so it's a, an inch bigger aperture, which makes it better, all else being the same. It's also got more focal length, which gives you uh, an enhanced view of the moon and planets and stuff. This is really a fairly serious little telescope. This would be an excellent candidate for your first telescope. If you only have $250 to spend, this is the one to buy. If you have $150 and you're limited to that, this is the one to buy. Um, so you get what you pay for as you go up in terms of telescopes. This one has a, a lot of extra punch compared to that one, but this one is not bad. And they're both good values for your dollar. You may say, well, what's all this nonsense? This is a Newtonian reflector, just like that one. This one folds up, slides together like so. It's a very nice telescope, makes it almost as portable as this one, almost as convenient as that one. Uh, but it's a lot more telescope for your money. This is another viable option for you. Uh, if you're considering buying the Zumel or Zumel Z100, this is the Orion Star Blast, a very, very nice telescope, very fine telescope. It's $250, I know that's another $100. This one has a fully adjustable primary, so you can make all the adjustments. Just like uh, the Astronomers Without Borders, that scope, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger aperture, gives you a little bit better performance. It's um, a very good option for you to consider. The Zumo Z100 is an excellent telescope for the price. For $150, you get a nice little telescope, very portable, with a parabolic mirror. That's a very big deal. Stay away from those spherical mirrors. So you've got a nice little telescope, very usable little telescope that will serve you wonderfully until you get into something bigger. Hope you've enjoyed this video about the Zoomal Z100. Thank you for watching.